internet, people of the world, people here on YouTube. Today we're going to talk about um, the Apple AirPods Max after, I guess, I think it's been about 18 months, 18 months, a long-term review of the Apple AirPods Max. Let's, let's have a discussion about them. Now, I have done many reviews of the AirPods Max and others to AirPods over the time. There's a playlist that you can click on probably down in the description below if you want to see my coverage from soup to nuts of all the different AirPods that are out there. But suffice it to say that when the AirPods Max first came out, I was trepidatious to begin with. Uh, but then when I got the AirPods Max, I was quite impressed. Uh, honestly, I was I was impressed with the build quality. I was impressed with the overall sound, the noise cancellation. I was even impressed with spatial audio, which I thought was going to be kind of a kind of a joke, but it wasn't. It wasn't. I was impressed with the AirPods Max um, all the way around. Now, over time, that uh, over time things reveal themselves, right? There's there's some good stuff about the headphones that you find out over time after you use them for a while. And then always there's some, some not so good stuff uh, that, you know, you, you find out as well. And I have to be honest, I have bought and, and sold the AirPods Max, I think three times. This is my third pair because one of the big issues I had with the AirPods Max when they first came out was the fact that they were uh, very, very pricey. They were $550. And that, even though I have a lot of headphones uh, and some of them around that same price range, that's a lot of money to put into a pair of headphones. And uh, since I have a bunch of headphones, I was just kind of like, do I really need to have, uh, to, do I really need to have the AirPods Max when I have all the headphones that I have, including, you know, offerings from Sony as well as other places. So I bought them and then I sold them uh, after a few months and then I bought them back and then I sold them again and I bought them back again. Mostly because there wasn't anything out there that integrated with the Apple ecosystem quite as well as the AirPods Max and sounded quite as good as the AirPods Max uh, doing it. I use these when I'm listening to, I'm, I'm watching TV with, um, with my Apple TV. I use these when I'm sitting at the desk and I'm working on a Mac. I, I use these uh, just about any place that I want to have uh, good quality uh, headphones and I don't want to deal with DACs or wires or any of that kind of thing. But, but that's kind of where some of the stuff that has bothered me has started to sink in. One of my big issues with the AirPods Max has, has been uh, actually the fit of the AirPods Max. Uh, and it's kind of, it's kind of a few different things all at once. One of them is the actual weight of the headphones. If you take a look, you'll see they, they have aluminum ear, ear cups, which is something that's quite unusual for a pair of, uh, for a pair of headphones. I don't know what this fabric should be called, but it's like kind of scratchy. Uh, it's kind of, it's durable for sure. And it doesn't show wear. it doesn't show dirt all that much, but overall, kind of scratchy. I like that you can replace them with others, but it's just kind of scratchy. Uh, the, the headband itself is fine, but I find that the clamping force, the, the force with which the AirPods actually uh, clamp to your head is not quite strong enough to hold them on my head. And that's also twofold. One, the clamping force could be better and therefore it, you know, they don't stay in place. They kind of ride back and forth on my head. But part of the problem is if the, if the clamping force were any greater, it might be too much. But the weight of the headphones themselves is, I think, where the big issue comes in. Now, if I'm sitting and watching Apple TV with these on, they invariably slide toward the back of my head. And if I'm laying in bed... They invariably, like the ear cups are big enough that they get pushed forward on my ears. It's difficult to, to keep them in a place where you sort of have the optimum comfort and the optimum level of, of sound quality when you're using the AirPods Max. Now, sitting at a desk or walking around the house or anything like that, you're fine for the most part. But again, the weight of these things is, is really problematic. Another big issue that I have is uh, that the ear pads themselves, I, I mentioned that these are kind of odd, right? So let's let's just take a look. This isn't really a memory foam. I don't know what it really is. It's it's sort of, 
it's squishy almost to the point of being too squishy and then the pads themselves are this this resilient but rough fabric i don't really know what the fabric is but i have found over time not uncomfortable but just not cushy now i have here the sony wx1000 wh1000 xm5s these are the brand new version of the sony pl uh, flagship platform of their noise canceling headphones um these have nice leatherette memory foam and uh and a nice padded inner ear cup there these are probably the most comfortable headphone that i have and i'm going to come back to these in a second as well to talk a little bit more about them while we talk about the airpods max but be that as it may the ear cups i think they can improve the overall design another issue that i have is here with the controls we've got so this is sort of like a, a version of the well it sort of calls it calls into attention the apple watch design you've got the crown here and you've got the side button here this crown is volume as well as play and pause etc cetera, etc cetera. and then you can change noise canceling you can adjust what what these things do in the settings uh but when i put these on because i you know you have to hold them yeah, you have to hold them, and so you have to put them on, and then you want to pull them down over your ears. Invariably, even after almost two years, my fingers still hit this button, or this button, or both. And that's annoying. Uh, while I like the design, you know, the design detail of calling calling out the, uh, the Apple Watch design, I'd like to see these controls move. I don't have any other headphones anywhere that have controls on, on the top. They're all, you know, somewhere down where my hands wouldn't be. If I'm gripping these headphones to put them on my head, the controls are all down here. So I don't have to worry about that. Whereas these, I, I mean, it's just right where your fingers go. It wouldn't be a problem if I had adjusted and sort of said, oh, I don't have a problem with it now, but I still am having quite a significant issue with it. And it bothers me. At $550, these are a stretch buy for just about anybody, even myself. I mean, $550 for a pair of noise canceling uh, wireless headphones. They don't do uh, that. Doesn't do high res audio or anything like that. When you know, when Apple released these, they also came out with Apple Music that had uh, both spatial audio as well as the entire catalog of Apple's uh, music went to high res audio and they could not pass the high-res audio because if you're not familiar with the way that wi that wireless headphones work uh, bluetooth can't pass uh the bandwidth necessary to get the high-res audio through so they couldn't do that now if they had a normal headphone jack that was an analog circuit in here uh you could get high-res audio that way if you had something that had a headphone jack but instead they made a 3.5 millimeter cable that plugged into this lightning port and that didn't pass high-res audio either so it was kind of a mixed bag when it came to what apple was offering with their streaming service and what apple you know offered with the airpods max and at a very high price you would think that there would be something a little bit more that being said the sound quality of the airpods max was really really good I compared them to the Sony WH-1000XM4s, which were the current model at the time, as well as, uh, as well as a bunch of other wireless headphones. And the AirPods Max was the best in terms of sound quality, and they should be because, you know, this is a, a $400 headphone. This is a $550 headphone. Now, you can get this headphone for around $400 now. The AirPods Max have come down in price, and they're always on sale somewhere. So you can get them at a lower price, which I think is a little bit, a little bit better deal. However, at the end of the day, my feelings about the AirPods Max is that they were just kind of a mixed bag. More positive than negative, but the negative stuff really added up over time and made it so that I did not enjoy using them quite as much as I, as I had hoped I would over the course of, of time. Now... That being said, we're coming up on two years where the AirPods Max have, have been around and in that two-year time span, I'm sure that Apple's collected a lot of feedback from you know, users and then also, you know, they have their own design team. I'm sure they've been working on it. Here are some things that I'd like to see from the AirPods Max 2. Uh, I'd like to see the controls move. 
I'd like to see the overall weight of the headphone go down. If that means losing the, the aluminum ear cup, I'm totally fine with that. I, you know, when it comes to wireless headphones, I mean, we should be talking about function over form. And, and these are so much heavier than these that I could not recommend these to anybody who wanted to wear, it, who needed headphones for traveling. So I want to see an improvement there. Uh, also, when these came out, and I just reviewed these, I'll link that, that review down in the description as well. These are the brand new Sonys, as I said. Um, Sony has sort of perked up and listen to the AirPods Max, maybe listen to some of their other competition. The sound quality of the XM5s here sounds better to me than the AirPods Max. And so when you've got a $400 headphone that's sounding better than the $500 headphone, I think we need to see the AirPods Max do a little bit better in the, in the sound quality department. Now that could be achieved by figuring out a way to get high-res audio into these things. Uh, spatial audio is cool, but it's not the standard, it's not the norm, and there's not a ton of music that's in the spatial audio catalog on Apple Music. So I want to see high-res audio. I want to see something, you know, 48K, 90, 96K. I want to see I want to see better quality audio coming into these. If that means that we need a 3.5 millimeter jack here instead of the lightning, uh, then that's fine. Overall, the AirPods Max for an a first, a first generation product, very very good. But I think it also sh they also show the first generation nature of the AirPods Max in some of the choices that Apple made in terms of design, and in terms of the features that they included. The noise cancellation on these is fantastic. The sound is really really good, and uh, they are a very very good headphone for anybody who's sort of entrenched in the Apple ecosystem. But if you're entrenched in the Apple ecosystem, you want to be able to listen to the best quality audio, and you can't do that on these right now, and you want to be able to uh, have comfort for the, the amount of money that you're spending. So I'd like to see that taken care of with the AirPods Max. You let me know, what do you want to see in the AirPods Max? How has your experience been with the AirPods Max? Uh, let's let's have a boisterous discussion down in the comments below. Uh, I, I'd love to hear from you as always. Once again, thank you so much for being here. My name is Jason. This is Painfully Honest Tech. Tech so honest it hurts. Until the next time, I'm out.